right hand side dirt, but I want to talk about a few things. You see a radio tower, well, an old radio tower. That was a beacon tower, radio beacon. They would transmit on certain frequencies, certain tones. And if you had the equipment, the receivers in your boat in the old days, you could triangulate position if you picked up two or three positions. They were all over the United States, even out here amongst the islands. They're not used anymore. We got much better and more reliable systems. But the tower still stands. The first building here, it's a white one with the green roof and a big green plate out front. That was the fog signal building. The two different tones were produced by the horns mounted on that plate. The two up around and the two square down low made the sound. Well, there are no active fog signals being used anymore on the Great Lakes. They're just not needed with today's technology. Now, the lighthouse. You have to imagine it without them four external legs. Because in 1901, when this one went into service, it burned either lard oil or kerosene up in the tower in the Fernando lens. It's that beehive looking thing up there. But the light keepers complained to the light keeper service that the wick or the flame would keep going out in high winds. That tower was swaying so bad that it would actually blow the, the light out. So in 1914, they added them external legs to stabilize it, and that's how it stands today. Now, you're just about ready to see some houses. These were, well, for the light keepers and their families. They were out here as long as there were ships or boats out on the lake. Might be from March through December. They bring their families out here. Now, up until 1978, the Coast Guard actually ran this one for quite a few years until they moved them in 1978. So of course they had electricity, they had big diesel generators, they were using once they were out here. 